Oh, my name's Tim Crossing. I'm doing a 31 day challenge around the UK, uh, swimming at 31 different locations, raising money for the Royal Marine Charity, for Lymphoma Action, and for Rock to Recovery. I was diagnosed with the fourth cancer uh, just before Christmas this year, a uh, fourth lymphoma, and I decided I'd crack on anyway and do the do the challenge after the first diagnosis and the, the, the first chemo and I'll just contemplate, go to the beach and just have a little think about what's going on. And I saw some people getting in the water and and I sat there talking to myself and him and I thought, yeah, I'll get in and, uh, and have a go at it. And from that time, I felt the better able to cope with stuff life throws at you when you've had a, a cold swim in the morning. It sets you up for the day. I was diagnosed with a fourth cancer uh, just before Christmas this year, a uh, fourth lymphoma and I decided I'd crack on anyway and do the do the challenge and it's now day nine and uh, we're in Liverpool. Uh, well basically the, the, the chemotherapy after the second cancer uh, has affected my lungs very badly and I can't I can't do anything extreme or I've got no endurance anymore um, so a short swim would be great but if we're going to do something you've got to do it properly and uh, a short swim isn't enough or a run's not enough. So I thought 31 cold dips, um, it would be, be a bit of a challenge. And, uh, and it has turned out to be a bit of a challenge as well. So I've still got the cancer, so it hasn't cured it, but it does enable you to focus on the present time. So when you're in the water, you don't really worry too much about everything that's going on. Um, you are in that particular moment. And when you're out, the problems are still there and the issues are still there, but you are mentally able to cope with it better. And I could certainly see how people with mental health problems swim um, because it gives them something to focus on and enjoy with other people. There's a lot of, made a lot of friends down there. Um, it's, it's just a great thing to do. Well, the Royal Marine Charity um, supports uh, families, Marines serving and former. Uh, there's a lot of the guys down today uh, who've come down to support me, which is great. Um, Marines tend to just pop up, you can't be anywhere without being a Marine near enough. And also Rock to Recovery, which is a mental health charity that help, uh, well it's not a charity, but they help with um, service personnel, blue light personnel with mental health problems. And uh, Lymphoma Action, uh, because lymphoma is the sort of cancer that I've got. And Karen's come down to help and support today. So um, yeah, they're, they're three great charities. So it's fantastic, it's very humbling really to see people turning up. Yesterday at Aberystwyth, it was a horrible day, very rough, and a guy knocked on my van window and said, come in, my daughter, come in for a swim with you. And I said, yep. And then another couple of guys turned up, then an old friend from Oxford turned up. I've had people come over from, well, guys drive down from London to Plymouth to get in the water, and, and it's been really humbling. And um, if, they, if, it, if it shines a light on it, then, then it shines a light on the problems that people have got, then we can you know, we can do something about it. If somebody's been touched by cancer or mental health or has somebody they know from the military. So I thought that we can't get better than three charities like that or three organisations. Yeah, it's to watch everybody really. Tomorrow is not a guarantee for anybody. So when you're, if you do get a diagnosis, it's not the end of the world. Um, it's never good, but it's not the end of the world. And uh, the cold dip commando. Um, well, our website, well, my website is designed to help people to, to phone it, to write in if they have got problems. The same as Instagram account, it's not overly serious. I'm not making light of cancer and the and the problems, but you have to, you have to, you know, have some cheerfulness to face adversity. And so, Cold Dip Commando or at Cold Dip Commando on Instagram and social media, uh, www.colddipcommando.com. They can. I've had people emailing me saying. My father died of, of lymphoma, my husband's got lymphoma, or um, my girlfriend's got cancer, I don't know what to do. And I'm not by any means a therapist, but it enables people just to have an outlet and, uh, and, and talk to somebody, which is quite nice.